So this is Cheong Baru. Propton Brass is here today to check out a conservation status walk-up apartment. Now you have been to Cheong Baru with the heritage in place. This is one of the favourite hangouts of young couples and families with a lot of good food here. If you have been to Cheong Baru, you realise that we are in D3 and this is one of the hot favourite locations. Later as we head on, we're going to talk a little bit about the history of all the conservation properties here and uh, I think you are in for a treat today, so let's go. This entire area is under the conservation status for about 20 of the blocks here. We have two different types of properties right here. On this side, these are all HDB apartments. And then on that side, there are 20 blocks of private apartments starting from block 55 all the way to block 82. So there's a centre dividing road, which is Mo Guan Terrace, as well as Guan Chuan Street and Sing Po Road. A little bit of the history, in the year 1920 plus, SIT was set up by the local government to revamp the entire Kampong Tiong Baru. This is to solve the housing problem in Singapore and SID started building pre-war apartments and the first one was at Block 55 and that was in the year 1920 plus and then it subsequently continued building all the way until 1940s. In 1942, World War II struck. After the war, SID came back in and started restoring the condition of the apartments right here. And so after post-war, SID started building more apartments and these were the apartments. These are now deemed as the HDB apartments in 1960 plus, MND was in place. Then Mr. Lim Kan Seng then said that pre-war flat, uh, which are the walk-out apartments, there are 20 blocks of them. They will now be sold out in the market as private properties. And these are not under any HDB guidelines. Pretty interesting uh, estate right here because you have one side private apartments and the other side HDB apartments. The 20 blocks also received conservation status in the year 2003. After the conservation status were received was that instantly the amount of interest Interest for the Tiong Baru Conservation Private Walkout Apartments increased tremendously after the year 2003. And right now, of course, in year 2021, we are still seeing a lot of interest for the apartments right here. We're heading up to one of the walkout apartments at level two. Later, as we head up, we're going to show you how owning one of the apartments right here is pretty interesting. So let's go. Alright, so we're here. This is a level 2 walk-up apartment. 78 is the only block with the fan-like kind of shape uh, in terms of its building design. You can call it a horseshoe shape as well. This one that we're standing in right now, this is 925 square feet. You get a very nice view of this park right in front of you. And of course, that uh, very new building behind that is Highline Residences and that gives you a glimpse of how close Tiong Bahru MRT Station is. And of course, the moment you reach Tiong Bahru Plaza, the MRT Station is right within the underground station. Tiongbaru MRT is one of the very first few MRT stations to pop up in Singapore and that's the east-west line, the green line that brings you straight on to Raffles Place and City Hall Interchange. What are some of the facts of this walk-up apartments located right here? So we're on level 2. The highest level is level 5. Predominantly, the entire level 1 are a mixture of F&B cafes plus a residential apartments. Right now, we're sitting on a balance of 44 years, 8 months at the point of filming. If I were to buy this walk-up apartment on level 2 with a balance lease of 44 44 years, what's going to happen after 44 years when the lease runs out? Does it make sense for me to buy this apartment? So let me break down the numbers in three very simple steps for you on how to own this apartment in a very wise manner. The first step is that the moment you take over this apartment and let's say if you buy it at a full asking price, $840,000, I would suggest to set aside about 80 to 100 grand in terms of this renovation. With your 80 to 100K is that you have to transform this into a three bedder instead of its original two bedder. And that can be done with this room being the add-on three bedroom. So you will have two bedrooms front facing and the third bedroom will be the same original bedroom at the middle portion of the walk-up apartment. Now because the layout is longish in shape, your kitchen is tucked right at the back followed by your bathroom. You can utilize the third bedroom and make it into an ensuite and using one of the common bathroom to be the main common bathroom or powder room. You still have your living room right tucked in the middle together with the dining zone and after it's revamped, preferably about 80 to 100k of renovation, that will be your total initial investment together with your 20 
25% down payment. So step number two is to understand the numbers. Very importantly, you must have the first 25% together with the stamp duty. Now because this purchase price is below a million dollars, that is based on the 3% minus $5,400 stamp duty calculation. So in terms of its 25% on a full asking price, you will then bring us to about $227,000 in terms of its initial investment. You will have to take note of the bank loan here. So we have already broken it down for you. So all other banks except DBS, they give a loan based on the balance lease of 30 years, which means that they can still loan it for 14 years tenure. However, for DBS, you can go up to a 24 years tenure. Yeah, so as per mentioned, the asking price is $840,000. Based on an average interest rate of about 1.3 odd percent, the money installment is roughly about $2,500 odd dollars per month, which is very decent and reasonable. Something also very interesting about the Tiong Bahru conservation area is that you don't have to pay MCST fee. All you need to do is to pay $43 per month to town council because HDB town council still maintain the entire Tiong Bahru estate. Now, step number three is that I would suggest that you use this as your pivot home. What do I mean by pivot home? Pivot home means that buy this property, let's say if you're a single guy or maybe you're a young couple, buy this only with one name. Keep the spare name and use it for your second property with a full on 100,000 renovation with three bedrooms. Easily. $3,500 per month rental depending on the market condition. What's going to happen is that after you live for 5 years, you have another 19 years to go to pay off your mortgage. You take that 3-5 based on the calculation we have on screen here, minus off every month 2006. You collect a passive income of $900 per month. The $900 of course is a gross calculation of your passive income per month in terms of cash flow, minus off your property tax, minus off your agency fee and of course you might have some maintenance here and there. Net net, you will still get probably about $700 per month which is very decent because that is extra cash flow that you have positively per month and let's say if you were to buy another property you have a monthly mortgage of let's say four grand per month this 700 dollars is going to help the other property you still have balance 20 years to go and you're going to collect a full three thousand five hundred dollars per month and just based on that itself i think three thousand five multiplied by 12 months multiplied by 20 years that's already eight hundred and forty thousand in total if i were to less off some vacancy period agency fee maintenance property tax that would then bring you probably to to maybe around the 800 over thousand range and if you were to less off your initial investment three hundred and twenty nine thousand dollars you still have a balance of four hundred odd thousand dollars i put that based on initial investment that is a total amount of 94 percent return over the 44 years period you're buying something at a very low quantum right at the start your initial investment is only three hundred twenty nine thousand buying something low quantum gross rental yield is high rental ability and speed is high and most importantly this is your start place for your pivot home and I think it's a very good balance play because you own two property eventually and of course after 44 years whatever bonus that comes later based on the government policies that is a bonus but at least you know what's going to happen for the next 44 years <laughs> So this unit, although it's longish shape, but there are ample amount of windows right here. So at the front, after you transform into two bedrooms, you still have windows on each room. Ample sunlight coming in. In this living zone, you still have these four panel windows. On this third room right in the middle, you also have windows looking towards the back of the house. And as you come towards this part, these two bathrooms here, one, I would suggest you transform into an ensuite for your third bedroom. The other one, use it as a common bathroom for your guests. And as you come towards the back, you will have huge amount of window space at your kitchen area longish kitchen, nice rectangular shape, easily modified into a beautiful kitchen. You still have a back door with a spiral staircase that heads down. entire Tiong Bahru zone is actually in the middle and you're being surrounded by Havelock, you're being surrounded by the Great World City Belt, you're being surrounded by the entire Bukit Merah area. So the D3 location is a very strategic location because there's a combination of heritage with a lot of private properties, newer HDB apartments. What are some of the other apartments doing right here? Now if I go towards some of the 99 years condo apartments that's around us, the very very newest addition will be Highland Residences. This Apartments over there are doing at about $2,000 per square foot. If you go for a 2 bedder easily it's about $1.8 million. 
which is probably around the same size, about 8 to 900 square feet. If you go for Central Green, which uh, has TOP in about 1990 plus, that's about 20 odd years. Two bader right there is about 1.6 million. PSF is about $1,600 per square foot. You go for Mara Prime, also about $1,600 plus per square foot, 1.6 million for two baders. And owning a two bader at 925 square feet for $840,000. You want to have a look? Give a call to our listing manager, Christina and Brian. They're very happy to answer any inquiries that you have. Tie with some of the bankers from DBS before you even commit to a place. Do remember to check your in principle approval loan. We'll give you the address. You can check the valuation and stuff like that. My name is Melvin Lim, Propton Lim Brothers. As always, happy to show the place to can. Liu Han la. River is at Liu Han. Look at this. You can still find a coin phone here. It works. Yeah, I used to. I used to queue up and then have to call my girlfriend using this last time. <laughs> Alright.